Isle and welcome back to the channel for a tutorial today that is going to cover something a little bit different for my channel and that is the build of my Star Wars figure display case. This one has a very special place in my heart because it's my childhood toys. It comprises of the original 12 Star Wars figures that were released in 1977 for the film although I do have two missing so I'm going to replace those with parts I can find on eBay. If you can count you can spot there's more than 12 here but all of these figures do come from the first movie. For a long time I've wanted to display my figures. Looking online I couldn't find a case that was suitable so I figured I'll build my own. So I've built this out of wood, MDF, a poster and some perspex. So let's get started. The background I used for my display case came from eBay and it is a poster measuring 860mm wide by 430mm high. It contains all of the first 12 figure backs and I will stand each one in front of their respective card when finished. I have cut a piece of 6mm thick MDF to a size of 886mm wide by 466mm high. It's bigger than the poster to allow the 18mm thick case frame to be fitted and the poster aligns with the pencil mark shown here. Next, spread an even layer of PVA glue to the board where the poster will sit. It's important to cover it all. Then gently place the poster into position and press down to fix in place. Ensure you gently squeeze all of the air bubbles out with a dry cloth. Don't forget to check that the poster has not moved and still aligns with your pencil marks and leave the glue to dry. I have cut my case frame pieces from a length of 18mm by 70mm planed smooth timber and painted them already. The top and the bottom measure 886mm in length and the two sides are 430mm in length and assembled in this layout. To hide any MDF showing around the edge where the poster meets the case frame I have given the edge of the poster board a coat of black paint. To assemble the frame drill two pilot holes from the bottom upwards into the frame case sides and from the top downwards into the frame case sides. I have used a countersink drill bit to make sure the frame does not split when I drive the screws home. I am using black screws for camouflage. Repeat on all four corners so you will need 8 1 inch screws. With the frame assembled use 14 1 inch screws to attach the MDF background board to the frame with screws in the following locations. Measurements can be seen here in the diagram. I have positioned the two top shelves in line with the base of the background cards so the figures stand right in front of them. The bottom shelf will be slightly lower due to clearance. To support the shelves at the side I have cut these blocks of wood measuring 50mm long by 18mm by 10mm. There are also four blocks along the bottom and four along the top. The 50mm depth means the perspex front will fit against the blocks and use them as a buffer. You may also notice I've added four shelf supports to the two shelves on the rear middle of the background. These can be purchased from a hardware store. The clear shelves have been cut from 6mm thick perspex and measure 50mm in depth by 855mm in length. This gives them a little side clearance if the fit is tight. Simply rest these on the side supports and shelf pegs. To fix in place, add a little drop of clear contact adhesive to the side supports and press down gently. Here's the case with two shelves in place and here it is again with all three shelves now fixed in place. You will notice that the bottom shelf sits on all four lowercase support blocks that I added. So that it hangs flush on the wall, I've added these 70mm by 70mm by 18mm offcut squares to the rear corners and painted them black. I have screwed these to the rear of the frame so that the screws do not protrude into the case area. There is a fifth block in the centre top that has this L-shaped hanging bracket to loop over a nail that I'm going to put into the wall. So here is the finished case complete with figures in position and the perspex front cover. The perspex is held in place with two small screws in the middle of the sides of the case. These are 215mm down or up from the top or bottom inner edge of the case. The front cover is the same measurements as the poster and fits nice and snug inside the case edges. The two screws that hold it in place give easy and quick access if you need to adjust the figures. So if I have inspired you to build your own display case for your Star Wars figures, leave a comment for me below and let me know how it went. Thanks for watching today and see you soon. Take care.